Welcome back to Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start off by giving a shout out to Patrick Flood, who left a comment saying, I'm just going to read this, it's probably just because I didn't grow up with it, but the whole Commander Keen connection with two spectacularly gory first person shooters always seemed odd. It's like if we found out Chris Redfield had a kid and he became Pajama Sam or if the new Call of Duty contained a Spyro the Dragon reference. You know, I never really thought about it that way, but, uh... Well, it's not wrong. It is kind of weird that, uh... It, oh, okay, I guess this is just for standing and making dramatic speeches. It is kind of weird that, uh... That they would connect a, like... We're talking about, like, a 90s 2D platformer here. It's all bright and cartoony. They literally did a sequel to Commander Keen called Keen Dreams, which consisted of, and I swear I'm not making this up, a dream that young Billy ba Blaze, sorry, was happening, where he was being menaced by all of the vegetables he refused to eat for dinner. So all of the enemies were like... Well, the main villain was a giant potato named King Boobus Tuber. That should about sum up the uh, tone of that game. You didn't even shoot the enemies with your ray gun in that one. You, like, threw these uh, little pods at them to knock them out. Oh, glad I found this room. You know, no, I, I would have put a dude right here to be an asshole if I was the developer, since you can see health go, yeah, then run forward and get shot. I'll take it. A couple more helmets. Always need those. Good, good. Excellent. These lockers are just painted on. It's kind of hard to judge the tone these days because, of course, uh... I could have sworn I did that forever ago. Because, of course, the closest thing they've done to anything with the, uh... What am I meant to be doing? Find information on the destination. Okay! I guess I'll just check all the doors, then. There's not one over there, after all. Came in through here, yes? Yes, right. Okay, good. Yes. I'm just getting my bearings. What about over here? What's over here? Okay. Kind of need to get in there, don't I? Can I just, you know... This door doesn't even exist. I'm imagining it. It doesn't even make the thunk noise. I'm starting to say the closest they've come to anything with the Commander Keen franchise in the last, like, 20 years? So since this game came out for a frame of reference, was, uh, they announced, like, a mobile game a year or two ago, and then they quietly cancelled it because EVERYBODY hated it. Actually, that's not quite true. People who were fans of Commander Keen back in the day hated it. Oh, shit, just went in a big circle. People who had no knowledge of Commander Keen, were totally indifferent to it. And I wasn't one of those people who just shat on it because of the art style. I get it, it's me -o. It's a children's game, it's aimed at modern children who have different, you know, interests than I did when I was that age. But, uh... The gameplay itself looked like ass. It was like some kind of puzzle thing. Rather than a, uh, proper platformer. Personally, I kind of liked the concept of doing a Commander Keen game. It must be up here somewhere. Then. A Commander Keen game where, uh... You know, you're controlling Billy Blaze's kids, because it's been, you know, years and years, and he's grown up. 
believe that trailer actually had a uh, a picture on the wall of like Uncle, uh, not Uncle, of a uh, Grandpa BJ. Well, at least it's you know, real. Uh, okay, I clearly need to get in there. All of the doors on the side are either imaginary or locked. Unless I'm just not supposed to be in here at all. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Helpful. Alright, fuck it. I will follow a wall. When in doubt. You know, I'll just save time, because that one just loops back around, doesn't it? Huh? Okay. There's a seam there for no reason, I guess. That's not the gun I had out. I haven't mentioned it in this series, and I like to treat these things like anyone watching could be the first video of mine they've seen. Uh... Following a wall is a trick to getting through a maze. If you just try to follow your intuition, you could lead yourself in circles for ages, but the trick is you pick a wall, and wherever you go, you just follow that wall. You come to a turn, you follow the wall you're on. You don't think about it, you just keep going in one direction. You know, it may take forever, to be sure. Hmm. I was stuck. Jeez, this place was a disaster waiting to happen. Oh, no, I don't want that. Closed for business. Come back tomorrow, when they'll still be dead. Note that that doesn't work, the, the wall thing. If you, uh, if there are, like, islands somewhere in the maze. Sections that don't connect to any of their walls. But yeah, unless there are islands, you pick a wall and you follow it, and you will inevitably, although eventually, you know, it'll take, like I said, it'll take a while, come to every part of the maze and eventually the exit. This is stupid. And that loops around. There's peek in here. Yeah, I do remember being in here. I don't think I found anything useful he around here. Was I supposed to get into the fucking submarine? I was kidding about that. Well, I've disoriented myself. So I'm just go back to where I was and. Hmm. I wasn't expecting to run into this immediately, to be honest. But that's the fifth time I've been in here. Because there's just a lot of those rooms. Or maybe I'm just really inept at this. I'm just backtracking. Well, it does happen. Oh, shit. Get out! <gasps> yeah, that would work in real life if you pushed off the bottom and as hard as you could. You'd get <gasps> more air than just reaching up from down here. 
shit. Accursed ladders. I like that. You can climb up the wrong side if you so desire. Well, I don't really do need that right now, but you know, working on it. Oh, that was where I was. How do I get in here? Huh. How's it going? Just checking up on you, making sure everything's alright, and wrecking your shit. That one is on purpose, I'll admit it. Oh, this is terrible! Um... I came in here again, since I loaded my game. And, uh... I don't know how to explain this, but there was a snooper rifle in here that I didn't notice the first time. How the hell did these guys get their hands on one of those, and it was so importantly top secret that it was considered a primary objective in that mission? Anyway, I wanted to try this. Son of a bitch. I was actually right. I don't know why, I just had a hunch about that. I didn't look it up or anything, I swear. It's just, I'm sitting up there looking over and it's like, huh. How did I get up there? That's right. Uh... Fucking Kool-Aid man by way inside. What part of being pelted with bullets didn't you get? I mean, take a hint, man. Fall down. Progress. But I did not. That was a lie. Unless I heard it at the end of the last- Oh! Episode and, uh, forgot. I really think I'm going to do that before I look down this other corridor here. This is the room with the tap dancing monkeys. I'm guessing the cutscene that's about to play is going to be me wrecking that guy's shit. Oh, uh, some other notes here. A bunch of notes today. Uh... Let me see something. Oh, yeah. Gunpowder patron informed me that, uh, crouching with the Mauser scope zoomed in lets you move without, you know, losing the zoom in. Neat. There was, uh, another thing here. Oh, yeah, another thing from uh, Gunpowder patron. That's right. I ended up going on a deep dive here because of a comment left on the boss fight video. Turns out that's kind of a mess. When I looked into it, I discovered that, uh, well, that fight took place in the tomb of Oleric. And it turns out that big boss I fought, like the meat golem, that, uh, was actually meant to be this Oleric guy, not Helga Transformed. I was uh, unclear on that even after I found her mutilated body, because I thought it might be, oh, she exploded and her soul formed into this glorious weapon in the name of Nazi Germany or whatever. And, uh, you know, I wasn't sure if it was a monster that killed her or if she had become the monster and left her body behind. But yes, apparently that was meant to be a guy named Oleric, not Helga. He also mentioned, the, the comment mentioned specifically, that Oleric shouldn't sound like that. There are some audio glitches there that apparently made him way scarier than he was in the original game. I'm guessing that has to do with the uh, souls he would shoot at me being as loud as the shrieking damned in hell. 
which was why I called that video Screams of the Damned. I wonder if those audio glitches are also why this weapon is so much louder than I thought it would be. Whoa! Oh, and actually on that note, uh, shout out to Justin Jones, who said, The flamethrower in this game is a disturbingly amusing weapon. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. How did I do, anyway? Oh, no treasure. Okay. I will not divulge any information to you. They're going to Norway. The coordinates are 67 degrees north by 16 degrees east. Nice. What is this? I'm not done with the mission yet. Are we just going to cut back to their poker game or something? Are you going to be having a party and uh, director Tony J is going to have a, uh, a lampshade on his head? No, I'm well, disappointed. Jack, Agent Blaskowitz is certainly full of surprises. There's no denying that. No, sir. Of course, I always knew he was resourceful, but I never imagined he had such um, expert interrogation skills. Well, from BJ's interrogation of the officer, we now know the approximate location of Death's Head's so-called X-Labs in occupied Norway. What have we learned from our defecting scientist? Well, unfortunately, not as much as I'd hoped. He was pretty badly shaken when we got a hold of him, and he still hasn't completely recovered. He kept referring to a Project Uber Soldat. Super Soldier. Oh, no. Yes. From what I could piece together, it involves some bizarre synthesis of robotic and biological engineering. Uh, for what purpose? Apparently, to create the ultimate killing machine. Good lord. According to the scientists, this project is Death's Head's baby. The thing most near and dear to his heart. And he's been working on it in one form or another since 1937. I suppose that explains the proto-soldier blueprint and those loping monstrosities as well. But it still doesn't explain the involvement with the occult. No, it doesn't. And there's only one place where we're likely to find that out. Yes, and that's why Agent Blaskowitz is on his way to the X-Labs in Norway as we speak. Uh, that reminds me, I peeked into it by searching the phrase, Those Electric Guys from Return to Castle Wolfenstein. And, uh, learned that the hand-walking shocky guys are called Lopers. Mission 5, Death Said's Playground. Part 1, Ice Station, Norway. Your interrogation of the officer in the SWF has yielded location of Death Said's... There's something odd about the sound of that name. Death Said's. The way they keep using it with the S on the end. Uh, yielded the location of Death Said's X-Labs in occupied Norway. Our defecting SWF scientist has also revealed the nature of what is taking place at the X-Labs. Project Uber Soldat, or Super Soldier. This is Death Said's most advanced technology project, apparently combining robotic and biological engineering to create the ultimate killing machine. By itself, this Super Soldier could pose a considerable threat to the Allies, but it appears that this project may have some other connection to the SS Paranormal Division. In any event, the X-Labs must be infiltrated at all costs. We must know what Death Said's ultimate goal is with these super soldiers, and if possible, what their connection is to the SS Paranormal Division. I was wondering, when they talked about engineering super soldiers, what the hell this has to do with that king from a thousand years ago. Uh, Heinrich, that was his name. I assumed he was a king. They said it was a reign of terror. Uh, mission objectives, breach X-Labs at her compound and gain access to main secure lab area. Oh, and, uh, while well, throwing notes around, uh, shout out to Yornick for informing me that the term Panzerschreck means Tanks Fear, which is a good name for an anti-tank rocket launcher. Alright, they took away a bunch of my ammo, you can see that instantly, let's see. Knife. Check. Luger. No silencer. Colt. But I have two of them. That's good. Oh, rad. Hey, I got the scope this time. And one of these. And some of this. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, 
probably not going to be using that for a bit. To be sure. Ooh. Stark landscape, you might say. No, no, not yet. To scope out this. Oh, speaking of scoping out the area, all he determined that I was there somehow, even though I was standing perfectly still at that time. What's up? I mean, if you're gonna wait. Well, now you're just hosed. Now I've just got a fresh clip in. That guy's hand is smoldering. What's up with that? My god, this man is full of smoke! That's what the Super Soldier Project is. They're replacing all their blood with smoke so that they cannot bleed. After all, you can only kill it if it bleeds. That's a weird way to make a reference. Oh, draw a distance. Oops, I did not mean to jump. <clears throat> Wait for it. Wait for it. Excellent shot! That guy hasn't even realized he's dead yet. There's a ghost walking back and forth on this thing. There's a ghost yelling at me in German. Wait, is that submarine really not like the... Well, I'm going to check out the submarine anyway, because screw you guys, it's cool. Put that part aside. Um, it's only slightly evil. We could take the flag down and hose it off. Oh, don't fall in the water, don't fall in the water. No, 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 I regret everything. Okay, um... <laughs> you know... The fuzzy textures do remind me of my childhood, but I gotta say, this is a part of my childhood I don't miss. <gasps> huh. Sudden paranoia that there were going to be sharks in- what the fuck? Oh. Oh, okay, it's got icebergs bobbing up and down. Fair! I haven't felt that kind of, uh, shark paranoia in a video game since I played, uh, Abzu? And that was only at first, because I knew for a fact that that game had no combat in it. Extremely chill. It's like they took out all the parts of Subnautica where you gawk at how pretty everything is and just used those. Shit, he saw me. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. When we, uh... Huh. Set out to, uh... Well, kick ass, take names, and find out what they're doing in this lab here. Certainly looks cool enough to have some really horrible shit going on inside of it. Oh, hey. I'll just bundle up, don't mind me. Later!